Mitchell Gibson talks about power words. It's a beautiful expression. This is, these are words that he learned uh, while he was uh, visiting other planes. The power words are charged with uh, power. As soon as you use the word, then you create a different reality. Are they different from a human sound? Yes, they are. Uh, not, uh, not at the sound level, but at the level of the conscious power they carry within uh, themselves. For instance, an enlightened being can say something and it will happen because the enlightened being has the power word. And the power word will have a great impact on material reality. It will change material reality. It is also timeless. There is a, there was a, a Muruga saint, a saint who worshipped Muruga. And he uh, was worshipping uh, Muruga so that Muruga could uh, help him to uh, preserve his life so that he doesn't become a victim to death. So he has this uh, hymn that I'm going to recite to you now. And it has some power words. These power words are very, very small in this case, and in most cases it is so uh, too. To uh, arrest death, or to prevent death, or to protect you from death. Saga denai charanangale Kaga muruga namanal kalagam chayum nal One day the God of Death is going to come and he is going to protest He's going to say that I have to take your life. And at that time, Muruga, you have to come and protect me. And the power words here are Kaka Muruga. Kaka. These are two syllables, two consonants. But the consonants are used. In the, as power words. Ka is the first consonant in Tamil and it means uh, or represents matter. Ka is matter. So the, the consonant Ka protects matter. And you use this uh, in a sense that um, transcends the linearity of understanding because Tha is used here uh, as protection because Ka here is really when he says Ka, Ka protect, protect uh, protect what? protect my material body. Kaga Muruga Kaga Muruga Kaga Muruga Kaga Muruga Kaga Muruga Kaga Muruga if we keep on saying these words, 
the god of death yama will stay away depending upon the ability you have to have trust in his words you will have a greater or lesser success but regardless you will definitely be able to avoid death whether for a longer time or a shorter time that depends upon your orientation kaga muruga and it has to be concentrated with the other two syllables saga denaye saka denaye means protect i uh, to overcome death saga is not to die so the language tamil was given to us by lord shiva himself so you find the, the language uh, functioning in a very very profound manner and arunagiri the mystic could exploit this uh in a positive way saga denaye charanangalile kaga muruga namanar kalagam cheyum nal vaaka muruga mail vaganane yoga sivanyana upadeshikane vaaka again two syllables power words va means come ka means protect va ka means protect protect my body because ka is the consonant that represents matter va means come va is also the sound or matrika for the goddess uh a prisa you know a sound that uh, uh, can the connotation is preservation va ka muruga look at the way he uses the power words in the whole four lines sa ga de nay kaga muruga va ga muruga so the constant repetition of this sound in the hymns regardless of whether a person recites it with understanding or not is going to protect him so the recitation of this hymn is extremely valuable 